Welcome to my toy sale review. Last week I entered the Big W store to have a look at the toy sale um, and to have a look at what people were buying uh, for next year. As you can see, uh, we've got stuffed toys, we've got Star Wars toys, a lot of licensed material. Um, and a lot of these toys actually do nothing. Um, so Lego, the Lego Isle is always one of our favorites. Um, and it's something that you can extend on at home uh, and for many years. So from a purchase perspective, definitely well worth it. Nerf guns, depending on how you feel about gunplay, um, they can be really beneficial. This I haven't looked at further, but Disney has some new uh, equipment out that we want to have a look at. LOL dolls are full of plastic. Um, little pieces that just get trashed. When we look at the kids section here for the younger babies, you've got some music instruments that are totally worth it. Things like this don't have a control of error and isolated concept, um, which really turns it away from a Montessori um, element or perspective. So we're looking for toys that actually help with uh, children uh, creating or being involved in something. Those cameras look amazing. Um, unsure, never used this product, uh, but the photo, the cameras our neighbours use and they really, really uh, like them. These type of materials don't have control of error or isolated concept. There's too many things going on at the one time. Um, you don't want toys that have, you know, they press a button and things light up and they make noise everywhere. It's really distracting and doesn't allow your child to focus. Um, you'll see here, there's a mix of licensed equipment, licensed toys, things that children may not actually need. They're just drawn to the character on the box. Uh, Bluey seem to be everywhere. Um, you know, Disney, Frozen, Peppa Pig, absolutely everywhere. Um, these things you don't need. Your child doesn't need them. Um, these Ryan's World eggs, and there are some other type of eggs out there, they are so harmful for the environment. The amount of packaging that's in them um, is really detrimental uh, to the world. Bead, bead mazes, so we're looking at the wood products at the moment. You know, just because it's wood doesn't make it Montessori. Have a look at the, at the toy and try and see what is the purpose of it. These type of things can be great for young children, 12 months, 18 months, same, um, same as these rings, stacking rings. Um, plush toys, somehow you end up with a million at home, um, not always worth it, but more so looking at it from a perspective of, do you actually need that many? Things like creativity and art, these things can be absolutely wonderful for children, um, boys and girls and however they identify, but things like this sewing machine can really help with independence. Don't know about the quality of it. Um, I would prefer just to buy a, a real sewing machine, but uh, for those with um, budgets and things like that, these could be really good for them. Cabbage Patch dolls were around when I was born. Um, Barbie has changed, um, which is could only be for the better. Um, but if your child is drawn to these, it's about providing different types. So not just ones that your child identifies to, but you know, different skin colors, different types of hair, boys, girls, all of them. Um, I cannot understand the LOL surprise um, toys. They are everywhere um, and they are massively overpriced for what they actually do. Um, have really have a look as to, as to as to what do they do ask yourself the questions what is the purpose of this what is my child going to learn from using this this toy when you're walking through the aisles with your children these the packaging these toys they're all designed to pique your child's interest um, and to to get them to connect to to the item and and really getting angry and wanting you to buy it for them. Um, so all of these things, asking yourself those questions. What is the purpose? What is the control of error? What is my child going to achieve when playing with this toy? 
and, and you don't, don't want the recorder, but you may do. But when we're looking at musical instruments, you know, they can be um, absolutely amazing for your children to create at home. You've got a lot of science um, items coming out at the moment, which are great. We've bought this just to review it, but just to see if, um, you know, it can be reused because if it's a one-off, then it's not worth it from an environmental perspective. So lots and lots of different science things that you can purchase, um, which has, you know, a, has, a, has an actual purpose. Uh, these are funny, but absolutely no real use. Transformers, again, the licensing Minecraft absolutely everywhere. Um, and you know, Minecraft, the game, some of it has has purpose, but is just not needed from a, from a toy's perspective. Lots and lots of Roblox and Star Wars and Avengers, Pokemon. Pokemon at the moment here in Australia is, is going crazy. But have a look at the items. Is it just because your child wants it because Pokemon's on the packaging? What are they going to do with it when they're working with it? How long are they going to be able to use the item for? Are they going to be over it in a week, a day, two years? Have a look at it from an investment perspective. So life can be absolutely, you know, life needs to be fun and you need to have items that, that bring that joy. But there are things when it comes to this that, that parents complain about often about how their houses are full of stuff. Make decisions asking yourself the questions. What's the purpose? What's the control of error? What's the isolated concept? How old is my child now and how long will this item be used for? Do I have sibling do they have siblings that may use it at a later date as well? Really putting some thought into the things that you purchase to bring into your home. But even if it's not brand new, the things that you bring into your home, whether it's from an op shop or what's donated to you, asking yourself the same questions will really help you control that clutter at home and help keep an orderly environment for your child. So lots of different puzzles, things like that can be helpful. But really, how many puzzles do you need? Is, your, is it something that your child is interested in doing? So lots of different types of Lego for lots of different ages. So some of these, Nerf is not just guns. They have um, things like throwing balls and, and items that can help with physical development. RC cars are absolutely going mental uh, here in Australia. It's, there are a lot of parents who are, are buying them for their children, um, making sure that the quality is there if you are purchasing something like that. These, for young babies, there is so much going on for them. Um, from what I could tell from the price of them, absolutely not worth the money. Uh, we really want to, especially in those younger years, isolate out the, con the concept, making sure that they have the ability to create or put something into uh, what they're doing. But as you can see, even the, the gender neutra neutrality is not there. You know, this is for girls, this is for boys. Um, really not something that um, I can advocate for. Things like this, if you want to, you know, role play is um, a great element. However, your children, you can use it with things that you've got at home and they would prefer real food um, to, to create and play with. Um, items for gross motor, really important for their development. Um, but if you don't have the money, go to playgrounds, do things that um, give your children access to, to play. Wiggles are on a number of items as well. Um, it's all marketing. But there are things for everyone's type of budget. Enjoy.